really doesn't get much better than this. Morning everybody, it's great to see you all again. So today I've come just to scout a location that I'm gonna to come to tomorrow to take a sunset of. And it's this lighthouse here in Anglesey, which is a well photographed lighthouse, but I've not photographed it before. And in the background over there should be the Snowdonia Mountains. Now I can't see them today because it's quite hazy, but what I'm gonna do is try and find some compositions of foreground. So when I come back, I'll be all set to get a great shot. Okay. Gonna go and find some. So what I'm looking for here is some elements of composition that are gonna draw the eye in really close to the camera. So these rocks here just look really great. And the contrast between these rocks and the green and the sort of really bright yellow lichen looks amazing. And then draw my eye right down through these other locks to the path that just is just purposely made for composition of this lighthouse. Now, the thing I'm a little bit worried about is the beach here because I think it sort of distracts the eye. So I'm gonna try a few different compositions. So by moving the camera, a little bit further back and lower then I've managed to get rid of the beach and I've just got the rocks that are taking your eye through now it may not work I'm gonna have a look at them later but I've at least got that opportunity now when I get back home to just have a look at the image see what's worked and what hasn't and when I come back I'll be in a much stronger position to get a really good composition when it really matters and it's sunset so it's important to try and look for compositions when you're out scouting areas and think about distracting elements in your images And finally, I've gone a little bit further to the left. Again, I'm excluding the beach there, and I've got a little bit more of these prominent rocks here. Now, I think this is not going to allow me to get the mountains in, but I quite like the composition. I like the strong element that's um, anchoring the left-hand side of the image and then the lighthouse on the right-hand side of the image. And again, that, that path up to the lighthouse just looks so amazing. So I'll show you the three shots that I, I took on my iPhone. I took all these on my iPhone um, now. And... Um, and then tomorrow, I'll, I'll show you the final images. Oh, let's go. Okay, so about done now. I found some good compositions of foreground and about to set off back and I'll see you again tomorrow here when hopefully we can see the Welsh mountains over there and there's gonna be a much better sunset than there is today. But actually it's been a really nice day here. It's really still and I've had a fantastic time just looking around a new area for me. Now, I know a lot of people have photographed this area, but for me, it's something, it's a first. I've never been here before. And that doesn't mean that I shouldn't photograph it because loads of other people have done. So don't shy away from the really popular areas. I think it's important to go to them and get your own take on it, even if it is just to add to your portfolio of images. But I've really enjoyed it. I've had a fantastic day just scouting the area on this beautiful Welsh coastline. Fantastic. Oh, really doesn't get much better than this. So it's the day after now. I had a great scout yesterday and the weather has turned out perfectly today. And as you can see, the lighthouse just looks amazing when it's side lit and the leading lines just become more prominent. And what's really good is these rocks here are lit from the west as well, where the sun is setting. And I can also see the mountains in the distance. You should just be able to pick them out here. And the scene is just amazing apart from one thing and that is the sky. So there's no clouds at all in the sky. So what I'm gonna try and do is 
minimize the amount of sky I use and maximize the amount of foreground that I use. So I'm looking for rocks and leading lines in rocks that are really going to take up that foreground and become really, really special in the foreground. So I cut off the composition just above the lighthouse. And what I've got to be careful of is any shifting of angles as the wide angle lens distorts the lighthouse. So I'm, I'm going to be aware of that. I'm going to try and position it in the center of the image. But I can also correct that afterwards as well in, in Lightroom or Photoshop. And I want to wait a little bit longer yet. I want to, be, I want to get as much color as I can in the sky because that'll, again, accentuate the interest in the sky because it's very bland at the moment. And I'm going to just concentrate on this one um, composition around here. There is another one over there, but I just want to try and do one thing really, really well. Now, it may be these rocks. It might just be the rocks just behind me, but it'll be in this location. <laughs> really is amazing. I mean, look at this. It's just so fantastic. I'll just go up here and show you what's up here. We've just walked from down there where the, the main island is out onto this little peninsula, which becomes an island at high tide as well. So we might get wet feet when we walk back. So whilst I'm just waiting for the sun to set, it's probably worthwhile me talking a little bit about the settings on my camera. So I've got it. Um, I don't have a filter on at the moment, but I suspect I'll probably have ND grad on as the light gets lower on the foreground and intensifies in the sky a little bit. But I might not need one, I'll just have to wait and see. I've got it on around about f20. I'm going to try and get it all in one shot, but I'm also going to focus, focus stack as well. And my focus stacks, so I'll take at f10, one focused on the foreground, one on the mid ground, and one on the far ground. I've got it obviously as low as ISO as I can to get as much dynamic range and as less noise as I can. And it's. Oh, what could be better than on a night like this, just being on such an amazing coastline? This is why photography is so exciting and sometimes so frustrating. When we arrived here, it was so sunny. There wasn't a cloud in the sky, or not that we could see anyway, but you can see now that there's loads of cloud on the horizon. And unfortunately, just where the sun's going down, it's quite a heavy bank of cloud. Okay, so it definitely looks like we're not gonna get any more light tonight, but that doesn't mean that you should stop taking photos and go home. You need to stay until the end, just in case something happens. And actually, if you just look behind me now, the light on the clouds up there is so good. So again, I've got a little bit closer into the rocks here, and I've moved my camera slightly up. You can probably see on the back of my screen that I've got the lighthouse right in the middle now, so I'm breaking all the rules. I have not got a third land and, and two-thirds sky, or a third sky and two-thirds land. Because I think this is actually the strongest composition in this, in this case. But what I have done is move the lighthouse just to the right a little bit. And I've also been really careful to position these rocks so they cut out any sort of things that aren't interesting in the sort of mid-ground here. And again, I've still got my leaf filter on. I don't think we're going to get much more light on the rocks, but we haven't got no light on the rocks. It's just that it's not direct light on the rocks. There's quite a few photographers here now, all, all taking this fantastic scene. And the light is just, just, just needs to come out and it could be really perfect. See over there onto the Snowdonia Mountains, it is stunning. So hopefully you can see how the sky is changing up here and the clouds are just beginning to catch some of the light. And that's what I'm looking for really, I'm looking for that definition in the clouds. And as we're starting to get that definition in the clouds, the mountains in the background are starting to get more defined as well. So all it's about is getting this foreground right and the rest of it takes care of itself. And again, just because there's no sun on anything doesn't really matter because you've still got modeling of the lighthouse. You've still got a lot of reflected light off the blue sky onto the stones. And actually, 
in some ways it's easier to control the image when the light is more diffuse like this so when it goes like this just don't pack up and go home stay around and you might just get a fantastic shot light has just about gone behind me now but there's just no wind it's one of those evenings we can just hear the water lapping up on the shoreline and there's probably seven or eight photographers here we've all come for the same purpose to take a picture of this lighthouse and all the people I've spoke to haven't been here before and I think that even if something's been photographed thousands of times it doesn't mean that you shouldn't go out and photograph it you don't have to go and find hidden locations go to some of the best locations and photograph and why not because it's the first time you will have been there and i've had an absolutely fantastic time here and i think i've got some great shots as well anyway thanks ever so much for watching if you like it give it a thumbs up and comment below where would you like to go <laughs> to take some amazing photos that you may not have been before and until next sunday bye Almost forgot the Ben Road tripod giveaway. And the winner is Kim Munch. So congratulations, Kim. I'll send this out to you if you get in contact with me. And until next Sunday, bye. And cheers.